the short list of things which you think a lot, you have the opportunity to, and it's something that it's extremely hard for anybody to comprehend because we're not talking about a week or even a month, six months. Just that portion of being over two years. So if you want to think about something, you can think about it every day for two years. You're talking about 700 times you could address that. Thing. Uh, and you, you do all kinds of things to keep your mind active. Uh, one of the classics you always see is you build houses, which I did. But I built five or six houses uh, for different areas, just all the couch, just for grins. And I don't mean vaguely. I knew how to build houses. This was detailed. I'm, I think once before I talked about Shoemaker, we did the same thing. He had actually figured out how many nails he was going to use to build a house. I hadn't gone quite that far, but I worked out the wood, how many studs. I mean, it, we were both into engineering and architecture. And so building a house was no small thing. I could have come back and built the house and told somebody as though they were looking at drawings, every single thing to do. Uh, and I did that five or six times, scattered around other things. Um, it was cold and hungry, particularly in the wintertime. I had a complete menu for two months, everything different every day. Uh, you think about your school, uh, kids you're in school with. Slowly, I, <clears throat> I, I was able to slow over time. Remember all the names of the kids in different classes, people you knew. Um, uh, one thing I think I mentioned, I, once I was working with some Latin. Why? Who knows? It doesn't make any difference. But I, I was working on a word, and I couldn't remember it. And I kept thinking and thinking about it. And one night, you know, geez, it could be weeks later, all of a sudden it bolted upright. I was sound asleep, bolted upright. It, didn't, it had finally come to me. Um, unless you have a lot of time, things like that can't happen. But slowly, over time, you put all this stuff together. Uh, you try to do a little tiny bit of exercises at the little cramped space you got that spent a lot of time tapping on the walls. Um, we learned an awful lot from each other. I mean, it wasn't just a casual thing. We would spend a couple hours a day on the wall talking about all kinds of stuff, family things. I used to tell them that I, when I got married, I had the advice, guidance, and consent of nine other people. George was a bachelor, too, so he had that availability. I had a lot of, you know, foster fathers, so to speak, uh, my mentors. Um, and I learned a great deal about them. Uh, all the mistakes you can typically make in a marriage, I avoided most of them because I was told about all of them by these gays. Don't do this. Expect that. These are the things that happen. Go with the flow, whatever. Uh, the do's and don'ts, and I, I learned them pretty good. <laughs> uh, so we, we talked about car mechanics, uh, rebuilding carburetors. That's a story in itself. Uh, I mean, just all kinds of stuff to keep your mind active.